Now, this chasm stretches on. In some areas, this chasm can reach 90 feet. Of that one column, that really tall white one. They called that Pluto's ghost. <laughs> uh, the ghostly reference was tacked on because it's, it's right in the middle of the natural paths. And as they walked, they would pass that column again and again and <laughs> <laughs> the bone pile was right at the base of that column and the wall. And uh, although there were only about 20 bones there, they looked as though they had decomposed while curled in a fetal position. Now, we don't really know much about these bones today. We've explored the entire cave. Well, down there is Pluto. <laughs> and we're still getting deeper. In fact, we're going to go down a series. Oh, never. Well, this is the beginning of what we call the main plot. You can see. And we always joke that the, if the dog left the house when he saw the huge snake's head. Look to the right as you're going by. Now, straight really see why they're called the best collection of caves in the whole world. Now, look inside Saracen's tent to the right. You can see we'll head on around the formations in the middle of the This is the rock that is translucent. Translucent dolomite rock. This looks like a statue. The translucent rock again. Now, the formation to your side there. Now, someone asked me earlier the formation that has fallen down. And if you didn't hear the question, the answer is no. They're, they're actually here. part of the ceiling. They won't come down on their own. Which, for a lot of you, if you look up, that is good to hear. <laughs> this is 170 tons rock, which has broken down. Looks like snow has just melted. They're starting to melt. Looks like a bearded man. Now, as we make our way down the rest of this ramp, we're gonna. Be now, this room is the lowest room of the tour, not of the cave, but of the tour. Uh, right now, we're about 164 feet underground. Now, we don't go any lower than this because of water. <laughs> the water will flood the lower rooms after a good solid rain. Uh, but this room stays dry except for extreme conditions, like say at the surface floods or something like that. Seasonal this formation, because every season people see something different. A uh, pine cone or acorn. Yeah. Mm. Ice cream. <laughs> it all or basically seashell, depends on the Christmas season. Tree, whatever you call it. To do that. The this chemicals algae. we use are going to end up in the water table, and they stand a chance of hurting the rocks. So by far a healthier means of finding the algae is just deny what it needs to live. And uh, we turn out the light and return the cave back to its
this looks like we entering a castle. It's a neat history. Uh, someone just mentioned how cool it was. It was a good place to be in the summer. Oof. And that's actually quite right. The temperature does not change at all. In the height of summer, it feels exactly like it does down here. And because of that, in the old days, in the 1800s, they, were, they might notice I called it the cathedral. That's because the dances faded away. Uh, once air conditioning was invented, it really lost a lot of its novelty. Uh, but yeah. another tradition replaced it. Everywhere on the rocks, dances take place. Uh, we start, we've had over 400 subject to a lot of debate. It wasn't us. It happened before us. <laughs> before we were even discovered. The but everybody does agree on the floor behind it. This now, cave. I think causes it to vibrate. The vibrating this is from where the sound, sound which is picked up by the microphone uh, and carried back to this room. It's also amplified a little bit, sometimes by as much as 33%. Now we're getting ready to hear so a So here is the microphone the and there's the and hammer, the strike and the sound cameras. is made. You can... Here are the speakers placed. the rocks. By different different rocks this music has been played. Uh, okay. We're going to go underneath this bridge. So and these actually, rocks we do, we're going to go have pores in them so I have to from which the water the drops side. out and it brings out minerals with air. Yeah. And these minerals form rocks and these rocks become hard. Yeah. And this is what this cave is made up of and this is how they look. Now this is a real pool of water. It's about six feet deep. The yeah. color is not natural though, and in this one case it's not algae. That's actually copper. <laughs> uh, the coins corrode as they stay in there over the year, and the copper stains in the rock of the well. But it is for a good cause. We take the coins out at the end of every year, we clean them up, and we give them to a different charity or a non-profit group. And the sign above the well lists some of the charities that received money in the past. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. Now as we head on past here, we make our way to the Morrison's Hall. 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 Here are the remains of stalagmites. Uh, now what happened, right. is there were a couple of stalagmites uh, sitting there and they were accidentally broken. And originally they looked something like that one. But uh, a weird little tradition built around them. People used to rub these as they went by. And they slowly rubbed them down more and more until they became perfectly hand polished and now resembled sunny side up fried eggs. So some people say oyster on a half shell. So I guess it's a matter of preference. Now if you like the... Oh, this looks like an owl. Now this plaque was placed here at the request of the local VFW. And yeah, it might seem kind of odd that they'd want it to kill. This looks like a shell. This is the car and the carriage museum. Hmm. Huh. 